if you guys want to hit shots like all of our favorite freestylers, aka me, then be sure to stay to the end of the video because in today's Rocket League video, I give you guys the best Rocket League freestyle settings. These are the best settings to hit shots like the ones on your screen now and to just freestyle with. But before we get into that, it would really mean a lot to me if you guys could follow all of my socials down below because I go live every single day playing with viewers and hitting shots just like these. Get a soft touch, get a flip reset, into a reset. Oh, that was clean, Ooh. actually. All right, guys, jumping straight into the best Rocket League settings. Uh, we have 110 field of view, 270 distance, 80 height, negative 4 angle, 0.35 stiffness, 4.7 swivel speed, 1.7 transition speed, and 0.5 demo transition time. Um, the reason these are so good at freestyling is mainly because of the height and the angle. Um, if you guys want really good freestyle settings, I would recommend going between like 80 to 90 because this is going to give you those silky smooth flip resets um, that make it just really easy to control after you get the reset. Um, as you guys can see, that was a really good example because I hit the ceiling. But if I go for a flip reset here, I'll show you guys how smooth the flip resets are with uh, this 80 height. Look how smooth that is. It bounced a little bit there just because I was going the wrong way. but. Yeah, basically, if you guys go for the flip resets, it makes it really smooth um, compared to heights like 100 and one, uh, 110. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys. If I go to 110 here, like uh, Moxie uses and some other one who want to use. Um, if I go for flip reset, see how it like bounces off? Yeah, like, it's really hard from that angle too to see where to get the second flip reset. So I always recommend 90 to 80 for freestylers. Um, if you're using 90 height, I say negative three to negative five angle. Um, if you're using 80 height, I'd say negative four to negative six angle uh, is the ideal spot to kind of even it out. Stiffness, 0.35. Basically, Zen has popularized this stiffness. Um, you literally can use whatever you'd like. A lot of freestylers like to use a lower stiffness um, just because it gets the car further back um, when you go like super fast. So like when you're going from mussies and stuff, or you're going for like a breezy, it makes it a lot easier to uh, control the car uh, just with those camera settings. But you guys can use a stiffness such as one, like left the mirror and all that, if you guys would like. Um, it's not ideal for freestyling, since these are like freestyle settings, but you guys can do that if you guys would like. Um, and then what else do we have? We have swivel speed at 4.7. Basically, this is just the time of moving your camera around. Um, a lot of lower rank players don't even move their camera, but I feel like 4.7 is the good balance. I got this from like Squishy or something. A lot of NA pros use it. Um, some players use 10, which is the max, which is like extremely fast. Um, it's honestly just too fast, but if you go down to like one, uh, it's just too slow. So I like 4.7, you know, almost in the middle. Not too slow, not too fast, perfect. Transition speed is actually a very important setting. I have this on 1.7. Um, basically what this is, is the time it takes to snap onto the ball from car cam to ball cam. Um, it's a very important setting actually because if it's too slow, it'll take too long to kind of process that information. But 1.7 is perfect because it I can gather all the information while being able to snap to the ball quickly to see where it's at in case it's like flying towards my net or something. But if it's too fast, like if it's at two, which I think AJ uses and um, Yan uses, um, the reason, the problem with it being too fast is it can give you a headache, first of all. Like, look at this. I'm giving myself a headache right now um, for you guys. But I have this at 1.7, because if it's too fast like that, then you just get a headache and you can't really gather that information while snapping from car cam to ball cam. Um, and that's not ideal, obviously. Um, yeah, th those settings don't really matter if you guys are just trying to be freestylers, I guess. Um, they don't really matter. But, yeah, so those are all of my updated Rocket League camera settings. 0.5 demo transition speed. It's literally just right in the middle. I honestly don't really care or know what it does, so I just put it right in the middle. Um, controls, 1.3 on both uh, sensitivities. 0.05 dead zone and 0.8 dodge dead zone. If you guys are wanting to be, like, freestylers, freestylers, I would recommend going, like, 0.15 to 0.25. Um, just because you get more control over your car, um, like going for, uh, delayed musties and stuff like that. Like, as you guys can see, it's a lot more easier to control with that kind of a dead zone, um, compared to like 0.05, but 
yeah i might even rock with that uh dead zone for a little bit but right now i like to play competitive too so i like the lower one so i can actually be able to be quick to the ball but if you guys are freestylers i recommend 0 0.15 to 0 0.25 for uh the perfect mechanics and then dodge dead zone lily if you guys backflip when you go for fast aerials or if you guys just backflip in general like in the air um i would raise this if you guys double jump instead of flipping i would lower it um so you guys can actually flip perfectly and i'll show you guys my bindings basically power slide and arrow is on l1 um all the rest are default i have arrow right on my reverse button which is l2 which is what zen uses and a lot of pro players use now arrow left on square for half flips and stuff like that um if i can show you guys my arrow right if i go for a half flip i can easily do it with it being on my reverse button um as you guys can see if you guys need me to make a tutorial on that i can basically all i'm doing i'm reversing i'm letting go of reverse i backflip and then i half flip again it's really easy you just have to let go of reverse it, the timing takes a little bit to get used to but it's honestly really easy uh then here's my interface display scale and nameplate scale basically the default nameplate scale is 100 um the max you can go to is 200 so i put it right in the middle 150 it's perfect uh copy all the settings if you'd like video all high performance 240 fps because i'm on pc i play controller on pc um here's my audio settings and my chat settings if you guys want these for whatever reason yeah so those were the best rocket league freestyle camera settings and dead zone settings in 2024 if you guys enjoyed this video then be sure to give it a like comment and subscribe and like i said in the intro i am live almost every single day on youtube twitch and tiktok so be sure to go ahead and give me a like follow and subscribe because um, i play with viewers on all those streams almost every day so if you guys want a chance to play with me, make sure to hit that follow button so you guys know when I go live. And uh, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoy these settings, go ahead and share me some clips. Join my Discord server down below and post your clips in there so I can see them with these settings. And I will see you guys in the next video, boys. Peace out. Rah!